big, long, rangy corner, and he's physical. He's not just a guy that's a, you know, a big guy, but he still lacks physicality. I think Darius Slay's a little bit slender, a little bit lighter, um, struggles a little bit when it comes to tackling, struggles a little bit when it comes to a really big receiver getting pushed around. We've seen it a few years ago with DK Metcalf, but he still held his own. When you get a guy like James Bradbury, now you have the ability to, I'm not saying he can stick a DK Metcalf, but he it gives you a better opportunity because he does have a little bit more size. He's a little bit more physical. He plays downhill. And the thing that you love about him is that if Jonathan Gannon is going to play a certain way, which he played early in the season where there is cover two, cover four, those types of things, this guy is an excellent player when it comes to keeping his eyes in the backfield and pattern reading and being able to recognize um, route patterns and things of that nature. So that bodes well for us. We switched it over into man at the end of the season. He's not a bad man player at all, um, but he's better in zone. Um, so his strengths and weaknesses, that's my my evaluation of some of his strengths and weaknesses. What about you? What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, I, I think, you know, from from what I've seen, um, he's a, like you said, big, strong, physical corner, um, smart player, very experienced player. Um, I remember earlier in his career, I believe he was with the uh, Panthers. He kind of struggled, yeah. had some ups and downs there. And, um, you know, truthfully, he started to – you can tell – so one way I, I kind of look at it, um, so sometimes players' career arcs is, you know, you get a, a player like Bradbury that kind of struggled early, um, maybe end up on a different team, maybe learn some different schemes, maybe, you know, fitting in the right system. So for me, I think he's more of a system uh, type of cornerback, which isn't a bad thing. But I think, like you said, he is better better uh, fit for a, a zone, to play a zone corner and, um, you know, get up there, get physical, cover two type of corner. So what's going to be interesting for me is the scheme-wise. I mean, you know, we, we all know Slay uh, loves to play more man, likes to play a little bit um, off and kind of almost like uh, Sante a little bit. Um, it doesn't take as much chances as Sante yeah. used to do, but – um, that similar type of style. And so it's going to be interesting to see now he's getting a little bit up there, you know, so he's getting a little bit older. I'm not trying to, you know, say anything negative to him in terms of that, but at a certain point, um, playing man the entire game, playing off the entire game is not going to be conducive for his career, for his legs and all that. So I think I, I have a feeling that it's going to be more of a zone type of scheme this year. I think it's going to be more uh, with the, the corners playing more press, and uh, some help over the top. So, I, you know, I like it. I think it's a good fit.